My name is Patricia Norris. I'm a veterinarian in New Mexico. I work for the Donana County Sheriff's Department. Um, I work in their criminal investigation division. I am what we would call a veterinarian who works in the area of veterinary forensics. Um, I started working here part-time in 2009 and became full-time in 2012. In this job, I'm able to help both the community, um, and by both I mean both animal and human community. I'm able to help my neighbors. I am here to help the animals, help their owners, um, and help the people that are associated with, with them. The highlight of the things that I do is when I have an animal that's coming in that's pretty much either been starved to death or is on death's door for whatever reason, to take that animal while we're waiting for the court case, bring it back to health, um, teach it to play. We have some animals who've never learned to play. You teach them to play, you teach them their basic commands, you help them become adoptable, you go to court, you give your testimony, um, the court rules in your favor and may award the dog to you, and then you take that animal and you find it a good home and where now the animal has, you know, is set for the rest of his life and the people that get this animal are quite, you know, are quite blessed. Um, that's probably the best case scenario of the things that I do. I don't know how many animals I've taken home to nurse back to health. Um, then you put them in the shelter, our shelter, our protective custody shelter, and you you become attached to you, to them. They become attached to you. You know they're happy to see you every day. Um, our animal caretaker, you know, is in the same situation. We take these animals, we socialize them, we teach them to sit, lay down, walk on the leash, play, play ball, play fetch. Um, and you're, you know, it's a tight bond. When you save something like that, you know, they're a part of your heart. And then at the end, um, it hurts. But if you know it's going to a good home, and you know that the, that dog is going to give joy to another family, then, you know, it's okay. Um, if it's a bad outcome, then that, you know, that just takes a little piece of your heart, and that part just gets put away, you know, and you know you move on to the next one. You try very hard not to, but when you've got an animal that is so uh, needs such special care, or has a very special, let's put it, when you have an animal who's a special needs animal, um, you do it, but you can't you can't do it very much. Um, you know, and you may hold on to that animal, you know, just until it's at the end of its life. Just because you know that you can give it love for the rest of its life um, and the special care, but um, the best case scenario is to find another family that can take care of it. Um, most of our animals we're able to get past the special needs stage, but there are one or two that we don't um, because they have been so damaged or so hurt um, or so unsocialized that we, we, we can't rehabilitate them. We do the best that we can, but there's so many.